All right, today our goal on day two is to look at biased and unbiased estimators. And we're going to do that by filling in our day two notes, and that shall prepare us for our work this evening. So if you would show them one of these. We got that one. Okay. Just the front will be good for it right now. All right. I want you to look at the graph there, and that's actually a graph that I think we had on our day one notes. And it was when we had a, we had a group of chips. So I don't think I wrote it on there. So if you would, in case you forget later, around that graph, that graph looks like like that. I want you to write that it was 200 chips like poker chips, where 100 mm -hmm. were red and 100 were black. So just remind yourself what that graph was about. And then certain, a certain, um, I think 20 were taken. And everybody, they kept taking 20 and seeing what proportion were red. So the sample size N, small n is 20, and P was proportion red. Alright, so that's what that little graph was, just like it was on yesterday. Dun, dun, or last dun. class, it wasn't yesterday, it was last Thursday. Alright, so what is, what is graphed? I want you to answer that question graphed? here. In the space, what is graphed here? What is something on the lens, I think. What is actually graphed? And the answer is that we're graphing P hat on there. You can tell they actually wrote it out in words, P hat. I guess they didn't have a symbol for hat, so they put it in letters. All right, what's the center? What is the center on this graph? And I will give you the center. And you can tell it's pretty much centered at 0.5, so. We expect, uh, as we keep drawing from this, that we expect that the proportion of red will uh, be 0.5. So, now to your notes. If we take a true sampling distribution, which we never do, all possible samples of size 20, we then find, we, and then find the mean of them all, all right, this is in the past. If we take a, I guess I should uh, we either work in the present or the past in this statement. If we take a true sampling distribution and then find, if you could change that, the mean of them all, guess what we would get? We would get 0.5. So in the blank, we are going to get 0.5. There'd be no doubt about it if we took every random sample that there was. We're not going to do that of size 20. We're not going to do that, but we would definitely get 0.5 on the button. So we say P hat is an unbiased estimator. So unbiased estimator of P, and that P stands for the proportion of the whole population. So that's true for P, but I can make that I can make that statement about any statistic. So in general, an un, an, an unbiased estimator is any statistic. It's a statistic used to estimate a parameter because remember we use statistics to infer about parameters. So we say a statistic used to estimate a parameter is an unbiased estimator if the mean of its sampling distribution equals the true parameter. So you can, I left uh, one blank for two words there. You can handle that. So in other words, we're saying that this P hat works. It gives us the true value of P. So P hat is called an unbiased estimator. However, you probably, you probably can foresee that an unbiased estimator is not perfect. It does not 
Unbiased does not mean perfect. But an SRS, a simple random sample, will yield just as many above as below the parameter. So sometimes you're going to take a random sample of 20 and you're, you're going to get 0.7, which is quite a bit above the real parameter. And sometimes you're going to take a sample of 20 and you're going to get below. You're going to get 0.3. But as you do more and more, you'll get just as many above as below and they will center on 0.5. So it's weird. It's the mean of the parameters. So I'm talking about the mean of the mean sometimes, but this is the mean of the proportion will be 0.5. So we say it's unbiased. It's not consistently going to be over. It's not consistently going to be under. Does that word unbiased make sense to you in this situation? Hopefully. All right. So p hat from a simple random sample is unbiased, and you can fill that right in. It's a very important. But what about all the other ones we had listed on our box? What about uh, the mode? What about the median? What about IQR? What about Q1, Q3, range? Um, what about uh, variance? What about standard deviation? Are they unbiased um, statistics? So that's, uh, we're going to answer the question for some of those. So we'll see which ones pop up in our, in our chapter. We're not going to answer that for every single one. All right. So we're going to see if, let's do range first. So I have, I got 25 or 20, I think it was 27. I was aiming for 25. I went to some classrooms and got some data. Just how many inches tall you are. And so, what we're going to do is pass this around. I don't think they're in any order. No. So just reach in and shuffle them around and get four. Then put them back in. You do have to put them back in. So write them down quickly so you can get to <laughs> write them in the blanks that are provided on your sheet. You'll see flat four blanks. A, a shorty. All right. Can I find the mean of them? All right, mixing them up in no planned order. Get four more. Should we find the mean of our own and the sample of yeah. our own? All right, what I want you to do first, though, is go ahead and yeah, do your own mean and your own range. You do, yeah. You're right. And I'll put up my class one on the board here. How does someone know to like this much? How tall they are? All right. Why don't we turn it off <laughs> while we're making our graph?